Good morning. morning. It is currently seven o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, if you hadn't guessed, it's our travel day. The day is finally here. We are going to Walt Disney World today. Mm. So if you watched our last week's vlog, then you'll see that we stayed at the Hilton and Gatwick last night. Uh, it was a pretty good night, I, I mean, think. We got a lovely view. I mean, yes. We love a car park view. Yeah, nothing really to write home about. But I think that's what we would have got regardless. But um, overall, pretty decent place to stay, I think. Yeah. Bed was relatively comfy. A little bit squeaky. A little bit squeaky. Massive bathroom. Everything that we could need. And we're like 10 minutes away from uh, the terminal walking. So yeah. that's great. Um, so I think we're all packed up. As you can, as you can see. Um, we decided to bring a trolley back to the room just because it's easier. We've got three cases, uh, so we just and thought, a massive bag. and a massive bag and a backpack. So we were like, let's just stick it all on a trolley. So, so Dean can wheel it. So Dean can wheel it. Yeah, I'm going to carry the backpack and I'm going to vlog. Obviously, the most important Obviously. thing. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's seven o'clock. We can now go over and check in. So let's. I'm freaking excited. <laughs> so sh should we? Should we go to Florida? Yeah, I've got nothing else planned today, so we'll just, just do it. Wanna go for two weeks? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've got the time off work. Yeah. Let's go then. Let's go. Dean's so good at pushing mm. all mm. of the bags. Mm. Very thankful. The corridors are quite thick. We just had a little bit of a run in with a, sh a trolley, another trolley. Oh, uh, yeah, the lady with the towels. <laughs> yeah, the lady with the towels. Anyway, just gonna go drop off our room key. Where do I go? Okay. It's like the quickest checkout ever. Literally, I was heading towards checkout. This man came towards me. He was like, "Oh, you're checking out." Took my key and off I went. Which is uh, excellent. All right. Oh, very bright. Right. Blue. Back into the little walkway that we go across to the south terminal and then we need to get the little train across to the north um, it's the first well we already went on it yesterday but it's the first ride of the pre-travel day no it's the first ride of the travel day we can't believe we're actually on travel day this holiday has been a year in the making so i actually can't believe been a lot planning, a lot yeah, of planning. i literally can't believe that we're at the airport and going today so, it's quite surreal yeah i know like so uh, next time you see us, we will be checking in. So we're flying, um, we booked this package to Virgin Holidays. So we're flying Virgin Atlantic this morning. And come along with us because we've also got entry into the V room and we bought the drinks package. And I'm hungry, I need a drink. Yeah. Or three, or four. Four, four, four. pound each. Have a seat. <laughs> going to Disney. We've seen quite a few already. But we're lots, here. Lots of Minnie Mouse polka dots. Yeah. We're here. Virgin Atlantic. Check in here. You look a bit busier today. Yeah. So quiet yesterday. Hey, well. Right. Oh. You check in? Aeroflot. Mm. Down to Russia. Different holiday. We're through security. Um, yeah, we're going to the V room, um, and also because we're going premium economy, we got premium security included. So worth it. Yeah, longest wait for the lady to sort herself out. Uh, yeah, exactly. Literally, we were through probably in less than five minutes, which is insane. Just walking through duty free, standard. Uh, we're going to pop into Boots, get a couple of drinks, maybe some snacks. Plane, and then we're heading to the meal lounge. I still can't believe we're here. No. I literally can't believe we're going to Florida today. Pinch me! Don't. That's <laughs> <laughs> no, not me twice. <laughs> oh, I'm up to the lounges. Oh. Hoping it's not a big queue to get in because uh, I need to get my drink on. I think it might be upstairs. 
Lads, lads, lads. I don't think there's any smoking area. Couple, couple, couple. Yeah. You got the My Lounge? Oh, we're all up to the um, top floor. Top floor dining. When, um, when my cousin Ashley and I went on holiday mm. last year. Ooh. Doors open. Oh, sorry, oh, yeah. oh, it's all right. Doors closing. Just lost valuable seconds of drinking. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not that we're that bad. That was, that was quick. Oh, wow, that was a really quick day. That's because we were on we were on the third floor apparently. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> we're not good with it. No, not at all. Ooh. Oh, you might need to focus then. Try again. <laughs> yeah. And so we managed to find our seat. Next to a plug. Runway view. But I'm not gonna lie, one thing I wanna go do. Follow me. I wake you up when we're ready to go, I'm just gonna like go booze at the bar. <laughs> uh, this is Katie concentrating hard. A little bit blurry. I think you're in focus now. Why are you not? There we go. That's better. What are you focusing on? Cocktails. Although from this menu it says cocktails are seven pounds each. We've got the drinks package. We'll have to see if they're included or it's just spirits. Don't know. We didn't read up. Either way, they've got like the Cardi, Southern Comfort, Archers, they've got like, so. Oh, hang on, Standard Plus drinks menu, here we go. So, in the Standard Plus menu, cocktails and things aren't included. It's all like the beer, standard spirits, and house wine. Which is still an excellent deal, yeah, because you can probably make your own cocktails with the, uh, with the spirits. Well, so, if you had a look at the drinks though, spirits are £3.90 each, and we paid an extra £4.00 to get the spirit package, although get the drinks package, they're actually really worth it. That's like one drink we're done. We'll have at least one, two, three. <laughs> this many. <laughs> mm. Perched on our seat. Um, it's quite busy in here today, so we're probably not going to do a proper beer room tour. We don't really tour. want to camera infiltrators that are stuff in their face. Exactly, we're having a drink and relaxing. So, so you'll be able to see it in the back. Yeah, we will have a little wander around to show you the food options and things like that, but yeah, it's not going to be a really comprehensive tour. Um, we're just queuing up because we're going to get some hot breakfast, and then there's a self-serve buffet, and then drinks, and we'll take you and show you the bar as well, so priorities. Good options on there. I'm going to go for the bacon benedict. I'm going to go for the bee room breakfast. Cereals. Fresh fruit. Pastries. And then over here we've got like some cordials. Standard different juices. Um, oh, it's a Pepsi Max machine as well. That's pretty cool. And around here, oh, so all the teas, hot chocolates, coffee. I don't drink caffeine before a flight, but flight always for lots of people in there. Oh, now this baker and pancake station, excellent. Condiment. Oh, bread. Look at those cookies. I don't think we're going to go for I think we're going to be okay. So Katie's away, I thought I'd show you breakfast. So this is the beaver and breakfast. You've got bacon, sausage, scrambled eggs, hash brown, mushrooms, some toast. And then Katie's gone for the bacon hollandaise, which is basically, well, bacon hollandaise, yeah. bacon, bacon benedict. Bacon, scrambled egg, and hot on their sauce. And hot juice. But she's just got to get the alcohol. 
So uh, I'll go just sit here and wait impatiently, although I couldn't help but take a bite of this sausage. Oops. We've been in the bee room for probably about an hour, hour and a half, and it's almost time for us to go and board the plane. It's gone so super quickly this morning. Um, we were just saying that when we were younger, it felt like your time at the airport really dragged before getting on the plane, and now it's just like, that and we're gonna board. Um, I still just, I know I keep saying it, but just still can't believe that we are going to Florida. Um, Dean's just gone to get his next drink, so he's really making use of that upgraded uh, drink package. I've had two, but yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> I think, uh, um, we're gonna have some more drinks on the plane and things as well. So uh, all in all, really happy with the bee room though. Um, so we're in the adults only area actually at the moment, but we managed to get set up by the window and just watching the plane. We can see a virgin plane behind us. And we're not sure if that's our plane. There is a flight that's going to Antigua just before us. So it could be theirs. Um, but yeah, just eagerly awaiting our gate number before we head off. It is um, almost quarter past nine and our flight is at five past 10, so. Yeah, all my time to fly. What drink have you gone for? Yes, uh, I maybe got this one. I can't remember it wasn't on the list, so some kind of lemonade. Oh, nice. Pops up. No? Is it bottoms up? Chin chin. <coughs> nice view. Yeah, you can see that plane. Yeah. Virgin plane. Is it Barbarella? Uh, we've just left the V room. We're on our way to the gate. We're on our way to the gate. We're gate 48? 48, yeah. Because like I that. thought it was 47, but That's why not? Yeah. Just that, that's very important. It's very important at the airport. Um, but yeah, we're just heading down there now. It is now just almost 25 past nine. So hopefully, pretty much as soon as we get there, we'll be boarding. Yeah, perfect. Uh, just, yeah, we're going to Florida. So it's a really nice day today, that was a straight over flight. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Just hope we uh, keep the sunshine with us. Yeah, we've been checking on our um, phone. Do you mm, no, because we're further down, that's a 53. Uh, do you reckon that's the Antigua? Yeah, uh, maybe. That's the worst day. I don't know. Oh, yeah, that's that little one down there. Anyway, um, we've been checking on our phones, and the weather just comes up like thunderstorms, X percentage chance of thunderstorms. We love a bit of thunder, but it's a lot of thunder Yeah, prediction. but the thing is, with Florida, you know, thunderstorms pretty unpredictable. It can come at any time and then it disappears and you've got a beautiful day. So we're not really going to worry about what the weather says. What will be, will be. We're going on holiday and we are prepared for all weathers. So whatever. Yeah, we've, got, we've got lovely ponchos. Yeah, we have got ponchos with us, haven't we? Thank you. Um, yeah, we have got ponchos with us. I look very fetching. Day. Potential. Uh, yeah, they're very luminous. Let's just they're very say. orange. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, let's go find the gate. Let's do it. Right, nice to meet you. What one's that? That's Ladybird. Ladybird. Yeah, I've hoped that's really like Barbarella. That's not the one that I had the world fell off. <laughs> it's a bit of a joke because when I flown to Florida before, went on Barbarella, and when I was out in Florida, my dad was like, oh did you hear what happened you know there was like a little technical issue and i was like oh i mean obviously virgin's very safe all absolutely fine but um didn't, didn't the uh, land here fall off something <laughs> fell off yeah i don't i don't know what it was but anyway obviously it's all fixed and dad was like oh gaffer i mean tape. what are the Lots of gaffer tape. Just like, oh, what are the chances of you flying home on that and i've ended up flying home on it so uh who just said it's just gonna be the same they're probably gonna end up being on barbarella again today but i'm intrigued to know one of the girls who I know is flying from Manchester today and I can't remember what did she say she was on I know she said she knew she wasn't on Tinkerbell because that's going to New York from Manchester today lady. yeah was it Fine Lady or something? No, fine lady's, uh, oh that's alcohol. our favourite alcohol cocktail drink yeah <laughs> I can't remember what she said she was on but anyway we will show you when we get there yeah. travel later like uh, Dean's Minnie Mouse travel pillow. And obviously that's mine. Another, another, short queue. another perk about the Bitcoin premium economy. I mean, this is a queue. I was right, we're only on Barbarella again. I knew that was going to happen. Not that it matters, they're all safe, they're all fine planes. <laughs> it's just really amusing, but that's what I've always been on. <laughs> okay. Let's hope we actually engineer three wheel properly this time. 
What have you got? Oh, that horse was sat on the belt. Yeah. 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 Nintendo style games, sort of console slash control. There. Oh, now I don't. There we go. Um, TV screen, and yeah, as Dean said, you get a blanket, you get headphones, and a pillow. Um, I expect you get like a mini tea kit on the way back. I'm uh, hoping that they'll bring over a drink like, before we take off in a minute. Yeah, we're in a two on the side, so nice and roomy. Cheers. I think we've got this all right. I think the only thing that I would say is that they need to be refurbed. Yeah, or it needs to be refurbed. Um, so there are definitely some areas that it's looking a little tired. I know that they are having a refurb, but obviously they're used all the time. These seats are really comfy, so definitely not taking away from it. Still very happy with premium economy. But there's just some areas. So, for example, this here. It's an ashtray. Well, yeah, it was an ashtray. I don't know, but it's all like broken and um, it's a little bit like grubby in the hair. But it's fine. I've got enough steak, don't mind. And that's my drink. Is that your drink? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting ready for takeoff. It's such a lovely day today. Let's hope the uh, weather carries on to Orlando because it'll be about 10 degrees hotter there. Here we 
chocolate chicken and butternut squash risotto risotto and then this is what i'm excited about you get an afternoon tea so that's good and then on the back you've got all of your drink options so there's a few wines uh, and then there's a bar They'll be coming around asking what we want. Um, it's only 25 to 11, so hopefully we're not having lunch any time soon and they're just being prepared. Yeah, I was going to say, because I'm not overly hungry. You know, um, but they've not turned the in-flight entertainment on yet. So I'm, I'm hoping it's... Black red screen. Yeah, so I'm hoping it's going to work, because otherwise this is a long flight if there isn't any in-flight entertainment. Lucky I'm stuck far enough with a lot of TV shows. Well, yeah, same, but fingers crossed it comes on soon. Yeah. Whenever I've flown Virgin before, flight, they usually have it on so you can like be perusing in the background. So it's a bit worrying that it's not on yet.
Well, immigration took an hour. So actually... And just probably during the flight. So. Yeah, that's true. So it wasn't too bad. Um, we picked up our cases though, they were all waiting for us. Um, and we've just come up and we're now on, as Joe and Ashley would call it, the monorail. One pulled in just as we got here. Hopefully it's going to head off any second. And then we need to go to the Virgin Holidays desk because as part of our package we got 200 Disney dollars. We and did indeed. You need to pick those up before you, you leave did. the airport. Otherwise they're like none of them. We do this as well. We should be able to load them on to my you know, Disney experience. It might do that in the future. But For now, sure. in 2019, you must pick them up. Yes. Otherwise you're losing. Yeah. And yeah. then off to the Magic Express. Yeah. And then two poorly to the side. Yeah. And then short. Yeah, it's a change in a very human. Yeah, Disney Dance. Why? Right, Magical Express. Ladies first. Thank you. Oh, here we go. And there is like no queue, which is good. A little bit stressful um, trying to get onto the Magical Express. There's only like three people working, there's no real line structure. And people just congregating around, not doing anything. Screaming children. Mm. And I'm not gonna lie, the man who checked us in was far from magical. <laughs> However, we're through, we're in the line, it's not a very long line, so whenever the next bus is, we're on it. If you can. Yeah. But uh, we're in a happy place. <laughs> we, we, we are. <laughs> I feel like you need to tell them the story. What story? About the fact that he was asking for a hotel oh, yeah, reservation so number and it was just our booking number. Well, you've just told the story. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it in more detail if you like. <laughs> she, she, she's a bit stressed this travel day. <laughs> <laughs> so, Disney begins. I did see it. That's pretty cool. Put it by my Pretty full Magical Express. Uh, and however, outside it's frightful. Yeah, it's getting heavier as well, but it was quite muggy out there, so I expect it to clear up at some point. Because I didn't sign up for this. And it'll be all on this one. I don't control the weather. Before we get caught off by the monorail again, 
um, we arrived, we checked in, we had a little bit of an issue with our room. Um, we requested one that wasn't a car park view. Um, what did we get? Um, we, we got a car park view. The cast member who checked us in um, assured us that we didn't have a car park room. We did. Um, I know it's not really a big thing. When we're paying the money that we are and we we're trying to immerse ourselves in the magic, we just didn't really want that view. So anyway, long and short, we got moved. Remember, we were later than planned leaving to get from our fast pass. So we ended up getting an Uber. Um, had a really, really nice Uber driver. It was really informative. Um, dropped us off at the Contemporary. And instead of things, instead of it only being one stop to Magic Kingdom, the loop goes the other way around, so it's four stops. Um, I, don't, I don't know if that's you get on one or the other, but he just directed us through it to go on so, that one, but I'm pretty sure we've seen them go back the other way. But maybe it's not a get on the stop, maybe it's yeah. uh, anyway, like we're not around newbies, we haven't Please seen them. Please stand clear of the door. So we done now. So now we're just enjoying the longer loop of the one around. Um, Grand Floridian this time? Yeah, now we're now at the Grand Floridian, we've got a nice. couple of minutes before we go again and it starts talking. Um, but we have got a carriage to ourselves. Which I think shows that we've probably got on the wrong one. <laughs> anyway. We were we, 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 we were told. We're in Disney and it doesn't matter. We're gonna try and get our Space Mountain fast pass. We will be late. If we don't get on, we've got two others and we're here for ten days. It really doesn't matter. Right. One of the things that we've learned, you can plan and plan and plan, but sometimes things go wrong. Yeah, but I'm gonna put on my dating complete. <laughs> Can't believe we're here. 15. I think we're here. <laughs> 